Hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. It's a pleasant Sunday smoke as the train whistle recedes in the distance. It is actually Halloween today. I'm recording on Saturday before Sunday because I'm going to be very busy tomorrow. So Halloween. Ooh. Train is still being quite vociferous at the moment. I have absolutely no feeling about Halloween, really, at all. A um, little background information on me, some a glimpse into the, uh, the history of Bradley. I was raised by a very, like, crazy fundamentalist Christian family. Um, like, extremely, what's the word, um, almost kind of fringe in terms of their belief system. I'm not really religious at all anymore, but... Hello. Where was I? Um, I'm not really religious at all anymore, but as a child, we were not allowed to, to celebrate Halloween. Halloween was evil, a pagan ritual based upon devil worship and witchcraft. So I never went trick-or-treating as a child, never dressed up. Well, that's not entirely true because I guess in an effort to sort of make up for the fact that we weren't allowed to partake in this holiday. Jesus Christ, the parking lot is very busy today. Quite a few interruptions. Lots of interruptions today. I've just now been interrupted by a rotund, quite hairy man in a wife beater, drinking a beer and smoking a cigarette. He lives in my building. It's kind of cold, kind of windy. Occasional rain showers and he's just out in a, in a wife beater. He has a very hairy back. He's watching me right now. He thinks I'm crazy because I'm talking to my phone. We're gonna, we're gonna struggle on here. As I was saying, in an effort to try to make up for the fact that we didn't get to take part in Halloween, our church would have these harvest parties, which <laughs> would basically involve like bobbing for apples and things like that, but we would dress up. But of course we all had to dress up like Bible characters. So there would be like 30 little kids wearing robes and sheets and like towels on their heads, all of them completely indistinguishable from the next, and you would just say, who are you? Oh, I'm Job, or I'm Ezekiel, oh, I'm Elijah, oh, I'm Elisha. <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It was the most pointless exercise in the entire world. But anyway, it didn't make up for the fact that we didn't get to do Halloween. And then, of course, when I got a little older, when I was about... When my older brother and I were too old to trick-or-treat anymore, my younger sister and younger brother suddenly got to trick-or-treat. My parents changed their mind. Halloween was fine. They got to go trick-or-treating and dress up. So they, they had the whole experience. So I've never been exactly excited about Halloween. It doesn't mean anything to me. Um, it's not that I'm embittered or anything. It's just that I don't have any history of celebrating it. And I do find it slightly odd that adults still seemed seem inordinately pleased to dress up, like they'll go to work all dressed up. They seem so pleased by that. I don't know why. And of course you'll walk around town. I was walking around town today and there's plenty of like sexy blanks. Um, I saw a sexy Cub Scout or Girl Scout. I don't know what the, what are they, brownies? The young Girl Scouts. It's kind of weird. Um, and then like little kids in these weird sexy cheerleader outfits. And they're not sexy because they're little kids, but I don't know, it's odd. Halloween is weird. And of course, like on St. Patrick's Day, New Year's Eve, holidays like that, I always avoid going downtown to the bars on Halloween because the bars are filled with drunk amateurs on days like this. Whoa, there's a squirrel. The squirrel just almost jumped in my lap. It's one of the black squirrels we have around here. A genetic mutation in the gray squirrel population. And in this certain area in my neighborhood, almost all the squirrels are black. <sighs> now there's a woman in one of those god-awful ugly PT cruisers parked a little distance away 
just staring at me. Anyway, Halloween schmalloween. I don't care. In other news, daylight savings time is ending uh, tomorrow morning, actually. Sunday morning, 2 a.m. So we get an extra hour of sleep, I guess. Um, I'm sure I'll probably just wake up at the same time I do anyway, or the same time I normally do. The one thing, I'm already to the point now at this time of year where when I wake up in the morning and leave for work, it's dark. But at least when I come home, it's still light. But now we're going to get to the point where for a little bit, it'll be light in the morning and then dark at night. But then give it a month or two and it'll be pitch black when I wake up and go to work and it'll be dark by the time I come home. And there's something kind of depressing about that. I don't mind overcast. I don't mind gloomy. I kind of like kind of rainy gray days. But when it's dark when you wake up, dark when you come home from work, it just feels like you don't have any day at all. You're just w sleeping and working. Now the hairy-backed wife beater dude is back. Has to smoke another cigarette. I have no idea what the hell I was talking about. It was something about complaining about daylight savings time. Savings time, I think. Um, for those of you in the southern hemisphere, or for those of you near the equator, you have pretty much 12 hours of sunlight and 12 hours of daylight every single day. In the dead of winter here, we get to the point where we have maybe eight hours of sunlight, so it can get a bit grim. During that quick cut, had a dude coming out revving his motorcycle for about 20 minutes. Not sure what he was trying to accomplish by doing that, but he did it for quite some time. Had the crazy woman in the PT Cruiser staring at me. It's getting windy. And I've almost finished my bowl here while waiting for these distractions to go away. My bowl of Elizabethan mixture in my Peterson Silver Mounted Army. Still working on other reviews and things for the channel. Um, more to post in the coming weeks. I will probably get my Penzance review up, not this coming week, but the week after. Uh, I have another review of a ZLYC notebook coming up. And I actually got some new boots that I'm uh, inordinately pleased about, more pleased than a straight male should be about a pair of shoes or boots, but I found a really good deal on a pair of used, just slightly barely used Alden boots, and they're the 405 Indie Boots, which if you know your history of uh, the Indiana Jones franchise, Harrison Ford wore Indie Boots in the Indiana Jones films, and as a child I loved Indiana Jones, and that's kind of why I got the boots. I'm wearing them right now, actually. I can't really see them. They're completely awesome, though. So I'll probably do a review of those eventually. My bowl is empty. <laughs> this attempt at a Sunday smoke has been rife with interruptions. Stopping and starting. I'm sure I've been all over the place because I couldn't remember what the hell I was talking about from one minute to the next with all the interruptions going on. So I think I'm going to clean out my pipe. We're going to end the Sunday smoke here. I hope all of you in America had a pleasant Halloween. Again, I don't care about Halloween at all. I'll kind of be glad when it's over so I don't have to keep going. Oh, look at you, you're a sexy something. I don't know what you are. People always want you to guess what they are. And the wind is picking up. It sounds like it's gonna rain again or it smells like it's gonna rain again. It's funny because basically every single Halloween it rains here, it just seems to be the tradition. So all the sexy ghosts, sexy zombies, sexy nurses, sexy police officers, sexy whatevers will freeze their partially exposed asses off tonight, which I kind of find funny, which I find kind of funny. Wow. Anyway, thank you guys all for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a Pleasant Sunday Smoke. I'll see you later.